Hey, what is happening? Good people. Uncool Paranoia here. I am just here today to make a quick video just to show you a few screen caps. I know it's been a while since I've done a video like this, but I'm going to go ahead and use my time wisely while I have it and just go ahead and just give you guys some raw footage straight from the gusto. All right, let's just get into it. So these screen captures are from Cardi B's most recent video, Hot S-H-I-T. And I just, as I was watching this video, I just, I just had to make a video about it. Like, check this out. This is the classic boffin it pose, if I ever seen one. And I'm going to show you some screen caps next to this to just kind of refresh your memory. So anybody who's like kind of into this type of research, you already know what I'm talking about. Of course, you can see it at the bottom of my screen in the preview there. But yeah, there were two robot arms kind of like putting her together or perfecting her uh, within the video. So you got the whole transhumanist aspect and you've got her lit on fire. It kind of made me think of the Statue of Liberty. But yeah, let's go ahead and pull this in here. This image right here is what I thought about when I, as I was watching the video. This is a Lady Gaga with the classic one eye symbolism there compared to the Baphomet statue. Exactly the same. And there you've got the flame up top. The Statue of Liberty flame or the flame of Apollo or Apollyon or Abaddon, whatever you want to call this same entity that has been influencing the wicked since the fall of Satan. So which I feel like is definitely a form of time travel because this is the same evil that's controlling this wicked industry. And they all do it. They just call it art. I know you've all seen these pictures before, but I'm just showing them just to emphasize a point that they use the same symbolism the same antics over and over again and just call it something new i mean the bible does tell us there's nothing new under the sun and which is why i feel this is the true form of time travel that ever since satan and his fallen angels fell from heaven they've been here on earth they are roaming earth so yeah let's just look at some more of these they all do it check the wings out here like come on now but no, you know, it's just conspiracy theory, blah, blah, blah. And look, she <laughs> she went for the gusto here. Like, yeah, I'm going to go ahead and wear red. <laughs> oh, man. So, yeah, this picture right here is a direct capture from the video. And I'm going to go ahead and show you that in a second, too. So I'm going to show you as, you know, quickly and simply as I can to avoid a strike. But, yeah, of course, she had to flash the one-eye symbolism in the video. And I'm going to show you the time cap where she actually did it which just drives the point home, just adds insult to injury. Like, yeah, we're just mocking all of you. So, yeah, here's just uh, another capture I just want to show you, just for emphasis. And this infamous Eminem picture has resurfaced on his album cover. There's nothing new under the sun. That's such an old picture, and it came back. Use it again for his next album cover. And I guess they just kind of added in that black, you know, mustache and beard that he has now looking all crazy. But, yeah. That's that. And here's the last one. No, I think there's one more after this. Same evil, different vessels. I mean, either these celebrities have some kind of eye disease or eye issue or an eye infection, you know, that they have to cover up one eye. You know, if you had the pink eye, then, you know, want to kind of look the other way so nobody would see it. I'm like, no, I'm kidding. But yeah, anybody who knows me personally, you know I have an eye issue for real and it's not a walk in the park, so... For anybody to kind of act like they might have an eye issue would make zero sense at all. So that just can't be the case. I mean, they're they're being controlled by the same entity. They have the same puppet master. Okay, I believe this is the last image here. Check that out. They all do it. Black, white, Asian persuasion. Doesn't matter. Uh, whether it's a religious leader, so-called religious leader, uh, whether they're in education, healthcare, politics, they're going to cover that eye. They're going to show allegiance to the fallen one. So yeah, let's get into this. Here's the actual video here. And what do you know? The video actually released on July 13th. Of all days, you got 13, the number of rebellion, of course. So I slowed this down and I'm going to mute it. Okay. The music is not important. I mean, of course, I'm sure they're saying things in the lyrics, but you know, other channels do breakdowns of lyrics. I'm not really going to get into that, but I'm trying to avoid a copyright strike or anything like that. So yeah, let's just get into this. So, of course, you got the helicopter over the city. Gonna speed this up a little bit. Not about, not about to do a full video breakdown, but here you go. The video starts off showing Cardi B at the top 
of this building here. Yep. And of course, she looks like she's half human, half robot type thing. Like whatever this is, must like these tubes are feeding her veins or something. Yeah. Same stuff. Same imagery. And she kind of goes into these unnecessary garbage lyrics. Yeah. So here's the scenes with the robot arms and the transhumanist aspect. And she's just, just looking totally soulless, right? Yeah. Same stuff. Like, Beyonce has done this. Um, of course, Lady Gaga. Mm -hmm. There's that. So as you progress through the video, let's see, let's, let's get her done here. Yep, you've got little Dirk here, um, rapping some un unnecessary garbage lyrics, but you know, that's that. To each their own, if they like this kind of stuff. Used to be really into it, but the main attraction to this video here, guys, is what prompted me to do this. Look who makes an appearance. The reformed Christian himself, Kanye West. Check that out. Yep, sporting the mask because everything is about covering up your face. Uh, the mask is where they want, you know, society to go. They want everybody to wear the mask all day, all the time, whether you're indoors, outdoors, or whatever. People may feel like um, the convict's 1984 uh, dystopia has disappeared. No, it's still alive and well, and they are dusting off the propaganda machine to bring it back. So, yeah. I believe that's one of the reasons why they're using Kanye West, just to cover up his face. But yeah, all those people who say, yeah, he's a Christian now, make Christian music, you know. And, you know, people even talk trash to me, talking about um, I wasn't giving him a chance or anything like that because God can change anybody, which is true. You know, God is the only one that can change a man's heart. But the Bible also tells us, you know them by their fruits. And this guy most certainly has some rotten fruit. So check this out. Look at that. Got that programmable matter back there just bumping with the beat. And we've all seen that before. Got the black goo here. And I'm going to skip this up a bit because there's something I want to show you. Of course, they always, you know, have this demeanor about them. Like things are so terrible, covering their faces, have, have putting their heads down. Like, oh, this is so crazy because it is. They're under the influence of the evil one. So we're going to skip this up a bit. And there's something after the three minute mark I'm going to show you guys. You know, just in case you might feel like I'm stretching it. Oh, they show us multiple symbols just to let us know like, oh, no, you're, you're not stretching it. So those who are into this kind of research, you already see what I'm about to talk about. All right. Watch the timestamp. Watch Cardi B. Yep. All right. You've got 312. Bam. You've got 313. Three minutes and 13 seconds. You could say 13 is the number of rebellion. You could look at this as 33. Soon as this point hits, she covers one eye. Yep, so that's where I got the screen capture. Immediately following that, the orientation flips. The entire screen flips, and you've got the as above, so below right here. Mirror image with the black goo. Everything, all in a matter of, what, less than five seconds, where you've got all these symbols. you got the 33, you've got the one eye, you got the as above, so below mirror image. You've got the black goo. The black goo is just going towards the beat. You've got the programmable matter. So when I saw that, this as above, so below, just so you know, I'm not stretching it. There was literally a movie called Devil that was released in 2010. And I'm going to play a little bit of this trailer to show this upside down world aspect. The movie's literally called Devil. It's about demonic possession. Someone's possessed on an elevator and they have to figure out who it was. And the movie is portraying it as if it's literally the devil that
possessed an individual in this movie. But here's an interesting aspect of the movie. You know, if you want to understand, you know, if, if you're into this kind of research, if you want to understand Satan's tools, all you got to do is watch a horror movie because, you know, he doesn't hide himself in the horror movies because it's hiding under the guise of art. It's just horror. So it's supposed to be wicked, but they tell a lot of truth. All right, let me get into this. Let me stop talking. Yeah, so check this out. This is the trailer for the movie that starts off showing the upside down. The world upside down. That is because Satan wants to be like the most high as above, so below. Okay? Satan wants to mimic everything God is doing, but everything Satan does is of the Antichrist spirit. Literally upside down. Where else do we see the upside down aspect, which everyone is all goo goo gaga over? The series Stranger Things is literally about the upside down. Yes, and this was from a movie called Devil. So those of you who are into that kind of thing, you've probably seen it. But this is what I thought about as I was watching the movie. All right. So just so you know, I am not stretching any of this. Let's check this out here. Bam. Here's a screen cap of a horror movie that was literally called As Above, So Below with an upside down cover. It's red. You got the skulls up here. You just, when you see this, you just think of death, like, because that's what the Antichrist spirit is. If you don't have Jesus Christ, then that's it. The other way only leads to death, period. All right, so let's just finish a little bit more symbolism in this music video because I'm not going to make a super long video, but there's uh, another aspect that I wanted to show you guys. So after this screen flips and uh, Kanye West does the rest of his thing, boom, 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 we're going to skip through this. So there's something very important that they wanted everybody to see in this music video because they show it twice. They show a good angle of it twice. And she constantly comes just covering one eye. But look, this scene right here, they showed this at the beginning and the end of the video. Now you guys tell me what you think that looks like. But I'm going to tell you what I think it looks like. I'll show you. As I was looking at this, like, <laughs> I know what that is. I know what they're going for. As you see that thing, hang on, I'm going to show you the beginning of it one more time. There you go. See that? What does that look like? And she's on the tip of it. The tip. Yep. Let me show you. It made me think of the syringe that's in Resident Evil. That's what it made me think of. This right here, ladies and gentlemen. Resident Evil 5, Albert Wesker, hero syringe. They call it the hero syringe, literally, because it's the world saving grace. I mean, what's allegedly curing everybody from the boogeyman right now? Yeah, which is saving the world, the hero. And here's one right here. They literally call the Ouroboros syringe. Because what is a syringe? The syringe is the serpent, the snake. And look, it even looks like a snake like sticking its tongue out. You see this one? And the Ouroboros is the snake eating its tail. Magic, witchcraft, sorcery. But this one right here really looks like the one that's featured in the video. And she's standing at the tip of it. And they have her donning the transhumanist look, half human, half robot, at the tip of the spear. The spear is the syringe. At the tip. So what are what are they telling us? You know? So I feel like they use this scene with Kanye West to drive the point home. Like, yeah. Got the black goo, the programmable matter, the reprogramming of the dioxid, dioxynucleic acid. I don't even want to say the individual letters, you know, for the the Al Gore's rhythms, but yeah. Same stuff. Like this stuff is in so many different music videos. And I was just reading through the comments and people are, are so excited about this. Like, it's just something new. Like, oh, the visuals are awesome. 
Cardi B always brings the heat, the fire, you know. When one person's like, oh, shock and awe me. Oh, I just love it. Blah, 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 blah. And yeah, that's that. Yep. So other than that, I just wanted to show you guys just a few quick symbols that's in this video. So I thank you so much for coming by and uh, to check me out, guys. The time is here. Like, they're just showing us straight up. I mean, it's always been this way, though. I mean, so people like to argue, like, okay, yeah, what's the point of doing this and blah, 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 blah. You know, I feel like it's important because if you learn to recognize the language they speak, you'll, you're, you'll be able to avoid this programming, especially for your children's sake, your own sake and for your children's sake. But this is what's what caught me right here. Like, whoa, they kind of just went on ahead and just drove the point in right here. Yep. So, yeah, that's that. I may go ahead and show that uh, Lady Gaga clip in this video. You guys may have seen it time and time again, but I'm going to go ahead and run that clip just to drive the point home that same stuff, different day, same evil, different vessel. I feel like it's a form of time travel. The same Antichrist spirit has been here from the beginning, and it's not going anywhere until Jesus Christ comes back. The Bible tells us we will know them by their fruits. He came out talking about he was some kind of Christian, but I mean, what Christian does this for real? And he continued to get richer. I mean, how, how how does that work? So if you understand making the oath in the industry, the first thing that happens to them is that they lose everything. Kanye West gained everything after he claimed to have been a Christian. So I feel like he reeled all of the innocent Christians in and then bam, pulled the rug from up under their feet because he's still doing the same thing. He's still producing this rotten fruit. So yeah, you guys tell me what you think. And uh, thank you so much for watching my video. We're the paranormal. <laughs> I said paranormal. We're the paranoia. It's been a while, guys. Don't judge me. Where the paranoia is most certainly uncool. Thank you so much for watching. God bless you all. And um, be the change you want to see. All right. Out of there. The stronger the magnetic field is, the closer together the spikes form. So first let me show you what happens when I move a regular magnet near the ferrofluid. You can see it just sucks it up to the magnet. some talk of using this sort of nanotechnology to target drugs. So if we attach a specific drug to the nanoparticles here, mm -hmm. um, we could put it in an entire body and it would all be dilute. But if we target an organ mm -hmm. with a strong magnetic sure. field, we can actually cause all of the drugs to go. So if we attach a specific drug to the nanoparticles here, mm -hmm. um, we could put it in an entire body. Entire body, entire body, entire body. What's it doing to him? It's changing him. Into what? There could be a magnet used so that we could... We could target that stuff using the tiny nanoparticles. Wow. And then take the field away. It disperses throughout the body. It disperses throughout the body. It disperses throughout the body. So it's something people are working on.
It disperses throughout the body. Entire body.